90 Day Fiancé Couples That Stay Together We love watching the whirlwind romances of 90 Day Fiancé Couples, don't we? There's nothing better than sitting back and watching the drama unfold while these people who barely know each other get hitched. Surprisingly, more couples stay together than you might think, even if the odds are stacked against them. Join us as we take a look at 90 Day Fiancé Couples That Stay Together. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos about your favorite movies and TV shows. Alan and Curl Yam My name's Alan, this is my wife, Kirlyam. U.S.-born Alan met his future wife Curl Yam when he traveled to Brazil with the Church of Latter-day Saints to do some good deeds. Isn't that nice? The pair had instant chemistry and knew they wanted to be together, with Curl Yam packing her bags and moving to America with her new boo. The two tied the knot at Alan's Mormon church, but it wasn't always plain sailing. Curl Yam had high hopes for her new life in the land of the free and wanted to pursue a career in modeling. This didn't go down well with her husband who hated the idea of her having lots of attention. Alan's strict religious views didn't help the matter, but it didn't really make much of a difference anyway. Curl Yam still hasn't been able to produce a green card, so she's not legally able to work in the States anyway, modeling or not. Despite that hiccup, the pair is still together and looks pretty happy about it, so it can't be all bad. Russ and Pow I'm feeling anxiety right now because I don't know if I really want to show him the pictures that I took in Miami. This couple looks so good together that it's not surprising that they're still happily married. 27-year-old Huss hauled his cookies all the way from Oklahoma to Columbia when his work stationed him there as a field engineer. It wasn't long before 26-year-old's beauty pow caught his eye and the two began dating. When it was time for Russ to go back to America, he knew he couldn't leave his girlfriend behind. Pow accompanied her man back to the States where they married. Just like Curly Am, Pow was hoping to pursue modeling. Russ was supportive of her and they decided to move to Miami so they could explore her options. The pair has weathered a few storms and their fair share of arguments, but it just goes to show that love at first sight can really exist. Russ and Pow also appeared on the 90 Day Fiancé spin-off, 90 Day Fiancé Happily Ever After, where they made us all feel sick with their sugary sweet love. Bless their hearts. Lewis and Aya. I decided that I was gonna surprise Aya by taking her to an amusement park. Isn't it strange to think that the reason you might not have met the one so far is because they're not in the same country as you? Indiana native Lewis went online to find love after traditional dating proved fruitless. He soon stumbled across Ava, a Philippine pocket rocket. Although Lewis was initially wary about being scammed out of money or Aya having shady intentions, it became clear that they were made for each other. Aya had hopes that Lewis would move to the Philippines to be with her, but Lewis didn't want to as he had two children from a previous relationship and that would have meant leaving them. Aya left everything she knew and agreed to move to the States and they tied the knot in a Catholic ceremony. The pair look happy as pie, having just welcomed their first child together. Justin and Evelyn Oh my god! <laughs> 34-year-old Justin met his future wife when he attended a soccer game in Colombia at the 2013 World Games. The couple knew that they were going to get married within a week of meeting each other. Sounds like a dream, doesn't it? We can't even get our Tinder date to message back. Not that we're jealous. Justin and Evelyn had a couple of hurdles to overcome early on. Justin wanted his new wife to be a housewife, staying at home and playing the traditional role. However, Ellen didn't want to go down that route and wanted to have the freedom to pursue a career if she wished. Despite their differences, the couple continued with the relationship and managed to iron out the kinks. These days, Evelyn makes an honest living as a dance instructor, while her husband works as a physical education teacher. Brett and Daya. Daya and I just recently tried to reconnect with my mom and stepdad, which didn't go too well. Online dating strikes again with these two. Brett met his wife on the World Wide Web after a series of relationships didn't work out. Daya hailed from San Carlos, Philippines. The two were in contact for quite some time before they decided to take the next step in their relationship. 
Dea decided to move to the US to be with Washington native Brett and his six-year-old daughter from a previous marriage. When Dea first moved to America, Brett was living with two roommates who didn't go much on his decision. Not long after her arrival, the roommates moved out and the pair made things official in a nice little ceremony. Brett's mom disapproved of the union though and didn't go to the wedding. The couple has largely kept themselves to themselves following on from their appearance on the show, but hey, no news is good news. A few years on, as the couple welcomes their first child together in 2017. Jason and Cassia. Stop. Oh, God, I'm here. I'm doing it. I'm getting married. Oh, we love a l Oh, we love a little bit of drama. If all the couples didn't have any issues, then the show wouldn't nearly be as interesting, would it? 23-year-old Cassia was initially in an online relationship with a 38-year-old Florida resident that was actually friends with her future hubby, Jason. For some reason, the pair started talking to each other and the poor other guy was swiftly dumped. After a while, Jason and his Brazilian boar Cassia decided to seal the deal, but it was touch and go if they would make it. Jason filed for divorce from Cassia after she pressed charges relating to domestic violence against him. However, something changed somewhere along the line and they decided to give it another bash and reunite it so they could make it work. They might be together now, but we wouldn't bet on them going the long haul. Danny and Amy Yes, sir. You just landed with your one-way ticket. Yes, I did. What does it feel? This cute couple met in Australia when they were on a Bible study trip. Oh, isn't that sweet? While Amy was all the way from South Africa. They dated briefly before Amy decided to move to America to make a life with her new love. The couple moved in with Danny's brother at first, as his father didn't approve. After a while, Danny's dad came around and the newlyweds moved to Texas to put down some roots and raise a family. They now have two children, Jedediah and Anne. Both Danny and Amy frequently post pictures of their family life on Instagram, so it looks like things are going well for the young couple. Mark and Nikki. So, what's your reaction when Mark told you about me? Here's another controversial coupling for you in the form of Mark and Nikki. Father of four Mark met 19-year-old Nikki and it seemed to be an unlikely match. This ruffled some feathers because of the age gap, especially as Mark's children were all older than his new love. It seems like the 41-year difference didn't bother them as they looked happy on screen, but when Mark saw the show himself, he tackled TLC for how he was portrayed. According to him, he was shown as overly controlling, and the only way to fix that was with a few good old fashioned lawsuits. It's hard to find much information on this pair now, but we do know that the lawsuits were dropped and that was that. It's presumed that they're still married, but no one knows for sure. Kyle and Noon. <laughs> Don't try. <laughs> Kyle wasn't really looking for love when he stumbled across Noon online. The Louisiana bartender was researching a trip for Thailand when they began talking on Facebook. The two stayed in touch and ended up meeting when Kyle was on his trip. While they hit it off, there was no talk of marriage until further down the line when Kyle was back home. They both realized that they missed each other too much to stay apart. Noon then decided to move to the US to be with him, albeit at the expense of her boyfriend's roommate who swiftly moved out. Kyle picked up extra shifts at the bar so he could afford a place of their own, as the two tied the knots at a small Buddhist ceremony not long after. Noon has been credited as a positive influence on her husband's life, helping him to reconnect with family members that wouldn't have otherwise come around. Lauren and Alexi. Alex, we need both families. Both families. Okay, my family is there. Get your family. They're right there. 
Lauren was born in New York City but was of Israeli heritage, so decided to go and explore her native homeland. She found more than cultural history when she connected with Russian-born Israel resident Alexei, who worked as a paramedic. Lauren was an executive assistant but gave up her job in the Big Apple so they could move to Parkland, Florida and have a better standard of living for less money. The newlyweds seemed to be going well until Alexei discovers that Lauren has Tourette syndrome. Infuriated that he wasn't told about it and worried that it could affect their children, things looked like they were heading for the divorce course for a little while, but the two managed to mend their bridges. Melanie and Devar When Devar drinks, he just gets obnoxious, and there's just something that happens within him that it's like a switch, it just... Whoosh. Melanie was fighting the good fight as a single mom to an 11-year-old son before she went on vacation to Jamaica. She was hoping for son, sea, and sand, but wound up with son, sea, and a spouse instead. Devar was on duty as a lifeguard in the same resort that she was staying at when they locked eyes across the pool. The pair embarked on a whirlwind romance and Devar proposed before the end of the holiday. Melanie's family were concerned, especially her sister, as the new boo mentioned sending most of his money home to his family in Jamaica. A prenuptial agreement was mentioned and the couple got through the reservations to have a happy marriage. They seem to be doing well and moving forward with their lives regardless of what others seem to think. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content and don't forget to check out one of the other two videos on your screen.